That damsel in distress turned out to be more than able to stand up for herself. It turns out Gyul is one of the last locals still taking the fight to the bandits, and that's why they came for her. Once we had taken the bandits out, she promised to show me the way into the underground bunker of the communication center. Gyul told me that her mother used to work there, and that the center was still operational for some time after the war had finished, compiling the fallout maps. This is just what we need. Time for a dungeon crawl. all the best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change this. Ah, Munai Bailer translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea, to port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? Yes, they did. The Moon Knight by Lair told them they'd protect in exchange for their work, and they agreed. The Moon Knight by Lair told them to worship the Holy Flame, and they agreed again. Hmm. Well, they did not have much choice then. They had a well, see ya, Artyom. Good luck. To fight and die, but not be slaves. Not everybody is ready for that.
Look, he's waking up. Hey, don't get all tense here. If we wanted you dead, you'd wake up dead already. No two ways about that, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah! So don't you worry, pal. Sao wants to make you offer, so listen. <laughs> so, here we meet again. Did you forget how you knocked me out back then? I sure remember. My head still hurts, you see? <laughs> I also remember that you didn't kill me when you could. So here you go. Eight bullets in the cylinder, you see? Cost me two tons of water, so be gentle with it. But that was just foreplay. Time for business. I figure you'd want to know why I rushed you then. Do you know our Baron? Well, I basically had him on a plate already, you see? Hmm. I spent five years sucking up to him and roughing up the damn locals for him. I even got his custom van for that service. Ah, don't sweat it. <laughs> you can keep it. I have more than one car. So, to cut to the chase, I almost lost that crazy witch on his ass. She was supposed to whack him, and I had all the preparations in place. Rast, Vach, Tiri, Tamki, you see? And that's the moment you guys choose to arrive at. Train and all. The Baron, with his paranoia, immediately decides that you are a new gang from the West. How to get him specifically. And all my planning goes to the shitter. Lock all the doors, triple the guards, the whole shebang. That girl lost any chance of getting close enough to him. But now I think this might even be for the better. <laughs> Besides, you've just helped that girl out of the lighthouse. So now Baron thinks you people are signing the locals up to finish attacking him. In any case, I'll be frank. Neither you nor I are interested in Baron staying alive, so I say, whack him for good. You seem to be up to the task. I can still feel the thrashing you gave me. <laughs> Consider the gun and the car in advance payment. If you do take Baron out, I'll make sure none of the boys take chasing you too seriously. Then we'll be even. If you fuck up, no skin off my back either. I'll just save the Baron from the evil gang out to get him. And he'll crown me by his own hand. <laughs> so, think about it. You still have time. Leaving already. Hey, leaving already.
Come, I'll show you some things. <coughs> this dust will be the end of me. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. Oh, I see you got the maps. You and Emil did a great job there. I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. If you're going to the port, there's a convenient zip line on the roof. Artyom, move a bit. You're blocking my view. <coughs> Be careful out there, all right? I see him. Just a moment. Damn. Sweat got in my eyes. Can't hit the bastard. What's this shit? Yeah. Oh. Bitch is there. The fuck is got him? Guys, we're getting fucking drowned. Dust got you off. There! 
see the fucker! He's at the campfire! I see the fucking bastard! Shit fall on us? Nah.
everyone. The Baron is speaking. All right. I need a few words on the canyon near the spring where the spread tribals attacked our boys. Eva, this may work nothing more than an ass wipe to you. It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went rabbit. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! And that means extermination! My word. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken.